My name is Jesse Mwai. I am a pastor with Christ is the Answer Ministries and you are watching Sitam Church Online. We started a discussion in our last broadcast and we were looking at the topic, the path to your destiny. And uh, I challenged you and, I, and, and we observed that every one of us has a certain destiny that God has in store for us. And in our quest to, for more education, in our quest maybe for career and all those things, at the heart of the matter is that every one of us is looking to find that destiny, that place that gives us significance and meaning in life. And we talked about two ladies in the Bible, one of them called Ruth, the other one called Rahab. These two women from very interesting circumstances find themselves in the genealogy and in the ancestry of Jesus Christ. They became significant. Today we still talk about them, although they lived hundreds and hundreds of years ago. We talk about them because these two women found their destiny. You too can find your destiny. And uh, we talked about seven things that we find incorporated in the lives of Rahab and in the life, in the life of Ruth that uh, helped them and brought them to that place where they found that path to destiny. Today we are going to look at just one of those things and the first thing that I want to bring to us is the power of a paradigm shift. Let's talk about Ruth just for a moment. See, Ruth was a Moabite. She was not, she was not a daughter of Abraham. Ruth had gone through some tragedies in her life. She lost her husband while she was still very young, did not even have an opportunity to have children with her husband, but her husband had been snatched away from her through the cruel hands of death. And uh, Ruth, of course, had an opportunity. She could have chosen to go back to her people, to remain with her people. But Ruth chose to have a paradigm shift. She sensed that her life was more meaningful than remaining in that place of mourning, remaining in that place of disaster. And she chose to think differently. She began to envision her life differently. You see that through the decisions and the choices she made. See, Ruth had a sister-in-law, and this sister-in-law also lost her husband because both Ruth and this particular lady were married to, to the two brothers. But uh, this other sister-in-law chose to remain in Moab. She chose to go back to her own people. But Ruth sensed that there was something different and probably felt a beckoning to something greater and something more significant. Let's talk about Rahab on the other hand. Now, we are told in, uh, about Rahab in the book of Joshua. Rahab was actually a harlot. She was actually a prostitute. She sold her body for profit. And yet, when the time came for her to begin thinking different, to have a mental shift, a paradigm shift, Rahab changed her destiny. Rahab changed her life because she also chose to think differently. When an opportunity presented itself to her for her to change her life, she grabbed that opportunity and envisioned a different life, not just for her, but even for her entire family. Friends, the truth is every one of us, we, are, we come from somewhere. Some of us probably have made choices and decisions in life. Some of us, maybe life has dealt some cruel hands and we find ourselves in, in, a, in disasters and calamities have happened in our lives. Some of us find ourselves maybe in very undesirable places. Maybe in a, you're coming from a family that is full of dysfunction. You're coming from a very shameful place in your past and maybe in your own life you have lived a very sinful life. I challenge you, you can actually have a paradigm shift. Your life does not have to be a continuation of your past. Your life doesn't have to be a continuation of your history. You can begin envisioning a different life for yourself. You can choose to have a paradigm shift because if you're going to change your life, it must begin with a paradigm. It must begin with you changing your mind. We are transformed by the renewing of our mind. These two women, their journey on the path of destiny began with a paradigm shift. I want to challenge you. I don't know where you're coming from. I don't even know where you're watching me from probably. Maybe you're watching me maybe from a very difficult place. Maybe it's even difficult watching this video. I challenge you wherever you are, consider begin, beginning to envision a different life for yourself. Your life doesn't have to remain the way it has been. 
It may have been full of disasters, or maybe it's been a very, very sinful life, doing all the wrong things. And maybe out of doing the wrong things, out of uh, the choices you've made, you found yourself in trouble. I challenge you, your life can be different. Let's continue this discussion uh, next week as we look at another aspect that we find in the lives of Ruth and Rahab in this path to your destiny. You have been watching Sitam Church Online. Again, I welcome you to engage with us, talk to us, tune in, or maybe even send a link to somebody. We are on uh, Facebook, we are on uh, Twitter, we are on Instagram, and of course, we are also on YouTube. Thank you so much. We'll continue this discussion next time. My name is Jesse Mwai. You have been watching Sitam Church Online. <music>